which of the painted peacocks is our Mr. Bingley? Well, he's on the right, and on the left is his sister. And the person with the quizzical brow? That is his good friend, Mr. Darcy. But her sister Elizabeth is very agreeable. Perfectly tolerable, I dare say. She's not handsome enough to tempt me. So what do you recommend to encourage affection? Dancing. Even if one's partner is barely tolerable. <laughs> May I have the next dance, Miss Elizabeth? May. Did I just go to dance with Mr. Darcy? I dare say you'll find him very amiable, is he? It would be most inconvenient since I just want to loathe him for all eternity. Miss Elizabeth Bent. Mr. Darcy. Miss Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth, I have fought against my better judgment, my family's expectation, the inferiority of your birth, my rank, and circumstance, all these things, and I'm willing to put them aside and ask you to end my agony. I don't understand. I love you. Most ardently. Please do me the honor of accepting my expect me to rejoice in the inferiority in your circumstances. And those are the words of a gentleman. From the first moment I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain for the feelings of others, made me realise that you were the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. Does the young lady know Mr. Darcy? Only a little. Do you not think him a handsome man, miss? Yes. Yes, I dare say he is. I'm sorry, though, that he came with Mr. Darcy. Let's say that. Why ever not? So blind. What do you mean? If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes have not changed. If, however, your feelings have changed, I would have to tell you. You have bewitched me in body and soul, and I love, I love, I love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. Well then. I love him.